Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Crimson here bringing you guys a brand new video. So today what you guys are going to be uh, seeing or what I'm going to be showing you guys is how you guys can get associated with uh, OBS which is basically a streaming platform. Can you call it a platform? I'm not sure but basically it's going to be uh, the settings and the guide of how you guys can get started on your streaming. If you guys want to start streaming whether it's on YouTube, Twitch or whatever other streaming platform that there is out there you can do it with this right here OBS Studio. Uh, keep in mind though that every settings I'm gonna give you for OBS studio may vary uh, Depending on your computer and how much it can handle or and and or do because uh, my computer may be different than yours Your computer may be different than mine's obviously vice versa Mine's may be better than yours yours may be better than mine's like I said vice versa So settings may vary so keep in mind that if you try any of these settings and somehow they don't work for you don't don't uh, accuse me directly of giving you guys bad um settings and obviously even if they do all you can do is search up another video or sort of tweak them depending on how your computer if you see that the quality is bad you can increase certain things if you see that it's putting too much pressure on your computer you can decrease some and the simple way of doing that is when you're streaming right here it'll say cpu usage i would recommend on obs anything above 70 when you're not sh when you're streaming um I would say anything about anything below 70 would be good anything above 70 reaching the high 80s is kind of bad so you know you might have to knock it down a bit and also OBS does warn you it says high end uh, uh, something about coding at the bottom left right here so you'll you'll be able to uh, know when your computer is being pushed to its limit so you can uh, uh, lower down the settings or maybe bump them up a little bit so uh, with that being said let's go ahead and get right into this video so uh, for this video, you guys, you guys are gonna want to have OBS Classic. I mean, OBS Studio, not Classic. Classic will no longer be, be being supported by OBS. They're gonna put all their focus on OBS Studio. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So first, you're gonna want to do is download it. Obviously, you're not gonna have all of these things right away. It's gonna be empty, completely empty. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to go to Settings. So go over here to Settings, and a box like this should pop up. So um. So first thing you want to do is go over to the general section and this is you're not going to touch it. You're just going to leave it as is. So if your things are different than mine, just leave them as is. Don't have to touch this. What you are going to have to do is go over to stream. And this is where um, things kind of start changing from you and I, obviously, depending on the server. But I do want to say one thing. OBS has now added a feature. I don't know if they always had it, but ever since I updated this computer, I uh, believe two months, no, not, not two months, like two weeks ago, it gave me a feature where before you put in your scenes and sources, it automatically generates the settings according to your computer. But there are some things that, um, that do not correspond very well. Um, and one thing I would say would be... Uh, Actually, I'll just show it to you guys later on. Let's just get let's just get into this right now. So obviously, you're gonna want to leave your stream type at streaming service, not custom stream service. And then the service is basically gonna be whatever you're gonna be streaming on. So obviously, most people are gonna stream on Twitch and YouTube. What the hell, Facebook Live? Okay. So you're gonna leave it on 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 Twitch or YouTube, whichever one you're gonna be using. And the server is basically whatever is nearest to you. So for me, it's either San Francisco or Los Angeles. Either San Francisco or Los Angeles work for me. I get the same amount of uh, the same ping on both of them. One's a little higher than the other one, but it really doesn't do a difference at the end of the day. I can stream both on both of them very well. So, uh, ex for example, if you are in, you know, uh, Miami, you pick Miami. If you are in Arizona, you pick Phoenix, Arizona, you know, and, and, and so on. So anything that's close to you. You're gonna have to pick that as your server so you can stream off of it. And if you're getting bad ping on it, basically the connection to the server, um, you're just gonna want to switch it to anything near you. So, uh, so yeah. So with that being done, uh, you're gonna want to go ahead and go over to your streaming platform, which is whatever you're gonna be using the stream on, uh, which it may be Twitch or YouTube, like I said. And they're gonna provide you a stream key. Now you don't have to ask the the the, the company. You just got to go into your dashboard, go into settings, and you will find the stream key. I'm pretty sure you can uh, search it up on Google if you don't know how to do it. It'll take you step by step. I think Twitch has a has a, a little like a step by step it has uh, where you can find it. So that's that. And uh, that's basically it for the stream part of this. And then you're going to go over to output. So once you're on output, this is where things start to change a, a lot between our computers. So, but I'm going to give you guys a sort of fair, a sort of fair uh, setting so you guys can use. And this is where the whole, um, the, the OBS fixing 
the settings for you automatically you uh kind of changes uh for example for me god damn i said a lot for example for me um oh my god the <laughs> the target bitrate it gave it to me at around 6,000 and the recommended streaming bitrate for a non-partnered Twitch streamer is between 2,500 and 3,500. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I know it's in between those limits. So I have mine at 3,600 because YOLO. And um, the reason I have it for that is that depending on what your bitrate is, is how you're going to be able to stream. And that also depends on your internet. For example, my internet, I get roughly about 10 10 upload and 100 download so i can stream on it no problem and uh yeah so the preset is obviously whatever you're gonna stream off of uh you know mine's on twitch quality preset you're gonna want to leave it on balance don't touch speed or uh or quality because what i find out that is when i put mines on quality my my youtube i mean my youtube my twitch uh stream gets cut into little sections like they get, it gets cut every now and then and it makes you really like laggy for the stream to watch so i i, I would just leave it as as balanced so and then the pre-pass mode disabled and then obviously like i said target target bit rate it's going to be between 2000 to 3000 don't go above the limits maybe 4000 is acceptable but leave it at those limits and then your keyframe interval might come changed but you're going to want to put it as a 2.00 uh keyframe interval so you can be rocking on that and for the encoder, enc encoder, god damn it, encoder, you're gonna wanna use either your stream encoder or your graphics card encoder. I, for example, use my graphics card encoder, and it takes off a lot of uh, a lot of pressure off my CPU. So, for example, when I'm streaming, H1, my CPU is running like at around eight percent, and when I stream it with my CPU, it kind of lags, and my CPU usage is at like 70, 80 plus me having to have multiple windows open. So it really takes off a bunch of uh bunch of pressure off your cpu so i would re i would really recommend uh, using your graphic cards your graphics card cpu i mean your gpu instead of your cpu basically graphics card over cpu but um so yeah so for the rescale output i have it at 1920 by 1080 now what i realized with this is if you're using an older ogato you're gonna want to switch it to 1280 by 720 because 1920 by 1080 your ogato will sort of be a very uh it'll be cut in half and you won't be able to see it very much so you're gonna have to mess around with that depending on whatever you're gonna be streaming when when i stream h1 i leave it as is but uh, i sort of lower down my settings a little bit more because obviously h1 is a more cpu intensive game so uh, yeah that's where you stand on that and on that note you're basically going to want to leave this alone and move over to the audio section so for the audio section i have mine uh a sample rate of 448 uh, hertz and basically where it says mic slash auxiliary is basically the microphone you're gonna be using to talk in to the stream and you could choose any one doesn't matter for example mines I can choose between the Astro mix amp or the snowball or the studio mic I have for example this video I'm recording it off the blue snowball and it's going through audacity I do my filters I, I change stuff around in there to make it sound more crisp so that's that and you can obviously do the same thing with OBS but that'll be for another video so that's basically all for this video um I mean for the audio section and we're gonna move over to the video section for the video section for this recording I have it at 1920 by 1080 on both base scale base canvas resolution and output scale resolution um but when I'm streaming I bump it down to 12 8 to 1920 by 1280 it just basically what it does is um or for at least for me what it does is uh when i stream when i stream with 1920 by 1080 it my cpu encoding it says it's a little too high so i have to bump it down i don't know how it'll work for you guys but that's what happens with me it says uh might want to lower down your settings when i'm streaming h1 at least but when i'm streaming cod i'm perfectly fine h1 like i said a more cpu intensive game so that's why I lowered that down and obviously as you can see I've been streaming a lot of h1 lately so uh yeah now the downscale fits filter this thing is basically how well little parts of the video like little um how crisp the texture will look on the video 16 is fine but 32 I find it to be better especially when playing games like Call of Duty where you can really see um the the detail in things especially when the sh when the sun shines off of something you can really see it more crisp and clear so i have mines at 32 your computer might not be able to handle it so you might be able to you might want to downscale it to 16 some people have it at this 
but um, it, it really all depends on how your computer will handle it with all these settings like I'm saying for example my uh, frames per second I have it at 30 I haven't changed it at all I keep it at 30 that's where I find my computer runs it best at but um, that's basically it for the video and uh, we're gonna go over to the hockeys now the hockeys it's not something you need but it's something that's very helpful for example the only hockeys I have is um the mute and unmute button so when I'm streaming and someone walks in I can just quickly mute my mic or unmute it with F1 and F2 you can do that to many more things you can mute your gameplay audio obviously right here under the video capture device same thing you put in any key you want to mute it and any key you want to unmute it like I did right here or desktop audio but like I said if you um, for the desktop audio it's basically gonna mute anything you're playing on your computer so I don't think it'll mute your gameplay audio but it will mute anything on your computer so if you're on team speak it's gonna mute your teammate so uh, yeah so you can mess with this however you want this is really up to you and we're gonna go ahead and move over to the advanced part now the advanced part leave everything as is don't change anything unless if something's changed on your computer uh, I would recommend just sticking with it because I think the when OBS does its uh, automatically uh, settings for you it changes some of these things but I don't think it does too much but if there are just leave them as is I wouldn't touch them and uh, the only the only one thing you're gonna want to change on here is the stream delay thing which is basically your stream if you put it to a 40 second delay which means if you're shooting I don't know a person right now in real time on the stream it's gonna come up while you're like already done with that game or something so it like that wasn't a really good example but a 40 second my i put my stream when i play call of duty as a 40 second stream delay which basically means there's a 40 second delay between what i'm doing and what the stream is watching so uh so people can't stream watch when you're playing call of duty or any game that's competitive that's what the stream delay is for but um yeah other than that guys i think we're done with this video if you guys didn't find this video by any means helpful don't forget to drop a like then but again remember guys that this is my first tutorial video i am doing or second or third i'm not sure so cut me some slack on this video i am going to be improving more and doing more of these so for you guys and the next video is going to be another obs video or even photoshop or anything like that to help you guys with your guys's youtube career and how you guys can uh, improve because obviously as an audience when you guys watch a video you're gonna want to you're gonna want to have the best quality the best mic so that your viewers can be be entertained and at the same time feel that it's a high quality stream or gameplay or YouTube video you're watching because if they see a crappy video bad, bad quality or bad mic they're gonna be like hey this youtuber sucks I'm getting off this video so uh, with that being said guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like smash that uh, like button comment down below what what type of tutorial you guys want to see any type of tutorial if it's audacity sony vegas photoshop obs anything guys let me know in the comment section below keep in mind that these tutorials are basically to help you guys with you guys's youtube channel and how you guys can uh, expand it so on that note i will see you guys tomorrow on my next video adios